Hey friends, family, followers, and subscribers. It's your fellow man of letters and fellow Winchester brother, Bradford Schiebel here. Yes, I'm doing a supernatural review and a character examination on one of the funniest, wittiest, and dare I say, most intriguing characters in the realm of sci-fi fantasy television. And this is a character examination on King Crowley, or also known as King of the Crossroads, King of Hell, whatever you want to call him. He has lots of names, but we're going to jump in. I'm going to give a brief overview of the reasoning behind his character, um, some of his character development, his best arcs, and then overall why I think he could have been a better executed character, but also why I love him. So here we go. Writers designed him to be centered around the idea of the devil you know. And what I mean by that is when he was introduced in season five, Lucifer was the literal devil. But then you had Crowley, a demon who was kind of a mediocre demon just working to undermine him and undercut him, but at the same time had his own ambition. And so what he really presents to Sam and Dean is this binary of... How do I defeat the devil I don't know who is this mysterious, all-powerful being who literally might destroy the universe as we know it by working with someone who I may or may not understand because I've worked with this caliber of creature before. So does that mean you have to defeat the monster by becoming the monster? Or does that mean you just make tenuous alliances with lesser evils to defeat a greater evil. You never know, because lesser evils still have their own agenda and ambition, just like our favorite two brothers, Sam and Dean, even though their ambition is more heroic than anything else. <laughs> it's kind of puts them in a, in a bind because they have to work with the lesser of two evils, but they still have to work with an evil, if that makes any sense at all. He did stick around for a little bit longer than I think the writers intended for him to stick around. And it really showed on screen, which was a tragedy because Mark Shepard brings such, such crackling chemistry between Sam, Dean, Castiel, Crowley, uh, other angels, other demons, Lucifer on the show. Um, and that's one of the reasons why he's one of, he's a fan favorite. When he has these self-reflective moments where he's talking to himself and he goes, well, the other day I was thinking to myself and I said, self, what do you think of this? And then he would go and do the exact same thing again to himself. And it was great. Crowley does start off a little bit of an enigma. You see him in maybe a handful of episodes in season five to begin with. And then he starts to descend into a more overt villainous role in season six. In seven, he's he is the main villain in season eight. Later on down the road, you see how that how that allows him to have an extra layer of humanity and truly makes him into a compelling character because they show that he does have indeed remorse. He does have conflicted loyalties, and he also has daddy issues or should I say mommy issues because he's a son of a witch. <laughs> he did stagnate developing around season 11 and into season 12. And there wasn't a ton for him to do, but he was always just this disarming presence on the show because Sam and Dean couldn't stand him, but always he came in to make fun of them and oft oftentimes offer his help but then also be in it for his own ambition. But I, what I also love about his character is how he does grow. He does grow beyond the typical 
oh, I just want to go do evil things for pleasure all the time. And to being, yes, he's by nature a demon, but he oftentimes comes to the aid of the Winchesters, even if it doesn't benefit him and it makes him a lot of enemies. Which, if you know me, I'm a sucker for a redemption arc. I, But I'm also a sucker for arcs in which a hero becomes a villain. You can't do a video with your front facing camera and have the flash on while you're outside just because the front doesn't have a flash otherwise I would be doing it that way so I can't really see myself filming this but in essence Crowley doesn't have a lot of central arcs to the show but in the ones he does have he shines some of the best ones that instantly come to mind are his arc that he shares with Castiel when Castiel decides to betray the Winchesters in the odd in the odd idea that he's helping them. Um, that's the first one. The second one is when he opposes Sam and Dean doing the trials to close the gates of hell in season eight and the subsequent arc in season nine after he's been injected with human blood and starts to experience what it's like to be human and the effects of that um and then honestly just his ongoing arc from season for in season 10 basically when he learns when he remates his mother rowena um, those are all great examples of Crowley's best work. Um, he doesn't get a ton, like I said, doesn't get a ton of really great screen time, but when he does, he steals the show. Um, and he doesn't, his character development kind of stagnated towards the end. Thank you. Um, what's your face? I can't remember exactly the showrunner's name, but, um, he, he stagnated towards the end. But all in all, he was a very well-developed character. Not as well-developed as Dean or Sam. Crowley has his merits. Crowley is an intriguing character. You see him grow immensely from this... This, yes, this mysterious presence who also is evil, but he's a lesser evil to defeat a greater evil. Into... Someone who is still openly evil, yes, but at the same time realizes, you know, maybe there's that's not all there is to this, this existence or this cosmos. You really see how he grapples with that when he causes Castiel to go from being a hero into a villain. In season six, which still, if you've seen how I ranked all 15 seasons of the show, you would see... You would see how he truly, truly does inform on that idea. Are you working with a lesser evil to defeat a greater evil, even if it costs something? Or are you going to try to defeat a greater evil by becoming a monster yourself? And Crowley allowed the writers to really explore that idea with Castiel. And I, I will stand by that idea. I do think season six, for all its faults, is a really, really good season. Even though it could have been better, it had its hiccups. <laughs> Eve, the mother of all. <clears throat> but in the end, still great season television, still very entertaining. I do think, though, by the time Crowley left the show at the end of season 12, it was time. But his death kind of just was like, eh. It was kind of a me wah, wah. It could have been better. The writers really realized that a little too late. But in the end, I still give Crowley, the king of hell, a constant thorn in the Winchester side, but also a disarming, a charming devil you know, full of bona fide arrogance, <laughs> intrigue, crackling dry sarcasm. That's redundant. <laughs> and all around just an impressive array of self-confidence and ego. I give his character 
a 7.9 out of 10, which is not a bad ranking, but still, he's a he's a character for the ages because he is he's hilarious. So all that being said, thanks so much for tuning in, hearing my thoughts. I'll be back more with supernatural related content in the near future. I'm gonna head back to the bunker now, but until then, peace out and driver picks the music. Shotgun shots.